more hours. to say before I thought I heard Mike say something that, uh, spoiler alert, I want to go first. And you know what that means? Nothing. Actually, it's not quite that bad this week, but it's pretty weak. Ha, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, but I got this. <laughs> nice. Well, Got to have the tool for the trade. <laughs> got the webcam for my... For your car? <laughs> Not completely broken, but uh, damaged uh, laptop. But uh, and I got this. This is my first birthday present. I'm assuming, not trying to be too uh, presumptuous though, that I'll have a few things to show next week, hopefully. But yeah, this is all. This is all I picked up this week, and I got this as my uh, first birthday present. So that's it for what I got. Who wants to go next, Mike? I Oh, or Patrick. Or Patrick. I feel like Patrick. I, feel like I Patrick. went first on uh, the reviews. So Patrick. that's what I should. We should do. We should just have a standard how we're going to rotate it, so I don't have to keep annoying okay. listeners with asking you guys and having that pause. Yeah, good call, Mike. Good call. So Mike or Pat, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned uh, I was at a little toy store last week, but I didn't have uh, picks up. Valor showed some of the stuff he got, but. I got these two Marvel Legends Fantastic Four on retro cards, uh, you know, yeah, cheaper than half off retail, because uh, I'm assuming this guy beat me to the punch to the Target clearance aisle, because uh, I never saw them on clearance at Target, and uh, so I got the Invisible Woman, and I got Mr. Fantastic. Nice. Uh, and then I also last week had this, but I didn't open it. it was uh, my from Amazon. My Storm Shadow G.I. Joe classified figure came. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. He's really nice. Uh, I took a brief look at him before the show started. Um, you know, he, he can he has that interchangeable hood you can pop off and on. Um, yeah. And actually, since you're bringing this up, um, as soon as Pat's done, Mike, go. I'll, I'll be back in, in one second. I'm actually going to gonna grab something real quick. Okay. Um. Yeah, so he's 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 really they've done some uh other storm shadows in the past uh for more like the animated look and for like the GI or the Snake Eyes movie version. Uh but this is more classic and he's uh he's got all the weapons and accessories and interchangeable things that you would expect from the classified series line. Uh and then yesterday was the Butler Area Toy Show. Uh, which we all went to. I didn't pick up anything there, unfortunately. It was it was a good show, uh, well attended. I was glad to see so many people there. Uh, we were only there for probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, but later in the evening, I went to Walmart and found these guys, uh, Q Figs. I don't think I've ever talked about them on here in the past. They're sort of like you know, uh, chibi, super deformed Japanese style little figures probably about three or four inches tall and uh they had been on i they let i think earlier in the spring or maybe even at the end of the winter they these started being clearanced out at walmart's you get them i i picked up a few i think valor even got like a miles morales or something i and, love those that gone yeah. so it was a big clearance day yesterday target and walmart so i you know, I was like, why are these guys here? For, I just found Wolverine first. So I scanned him with my phone and it came up six six bucks. So then I wanted to start looking for more because I figured they were probably clear. All of them were clearanced. And I, on an end cap, I found Storm and she also rang up a six bucks. They also had Kitty Pry, but she was still full price. And they had 
uh, Spider Gwen, and she was still full price, even though I think she had been previously clearance. In fact, I may have picked her up. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, this is just a side note, Mike. You may want to stop out to your Target because there's a lot of vinyl on clearance. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. There's actually movies, which is unusual for Target. A lot of their exclusive uh, Target only stuff is on is clearance. And uh, a lot of vinyl is on clearance right now. Yeah, I'll swing by. I, I never really pay attention to the vinyl because it's so unorganized and and it's it's expensive. Yeah, it is over all well, typically. Yeah, yeah. I bought a couple for uh, Ayla from Target. And yeah, they, I always got to pay a pay a premium to get them from there. Yeah. They they do they do a lot of like like uh, Blu-rays and DVDs. They do a lot of Target only like special editions there. Mm -hmm. I think it, I think they kind of lean more mainstream, which might not be up your alley, Mike. But you might find something there. Yeah. Other. Well, yeah. There's definitely stuff that I've seen there before that I that I would want. Yeah. yeah did you Did you want, you want to talk about something GI Joe related, Kevin? Before I skip to my last item, or was that? Or did you just oh, think? Oh. Uh, so I I uh, just realized because you showed a Marvel Legends. That I actually got something else, and, and oh, okay. I, felt, I felt bad because if, if we can make me full screen here for a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyler hooked me up. This is this is actually my first first birthday present. That's cool with a cap wolf head. Yeah, what's the story? I don't, you know, Tyler asked me about the cap wolf head. I, what's the story <laughs> there? I don't know. I've never. We were close yeah, with yeah. that Captain America that popped up in the in the deal yeah. for real. That was around close to that era, you know, as Mark Grunewald, where uh, Cap got turned into a werewolf. So, is that right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up because I wasn't aware of that. Um, and sort then of, again, what were you saying? Sorry. So we're sort of uh, love hate among the comic book community with that Cap Wolf. Some people really dig him. Some people think that was like one of the low, lowest points of Captain America. Well, I, I'm gonna. I judge it on the art. You know, when it got really, um, I see a lot of cap where the, the the way the Captain America banner is even on the book. It's all like super fat and flared. You know, I don't know whether that's that same area you're referring to. But when I see those, I'm like, oh man, I don't even want those. You know, <laughs> I guess that was when Liefeld did a few, and it, you know, it was those covers. Uh, but anyway. Like I said earlier, I've bought I've, I've bought a lot of Captain America lots, old Captain America lots back when I was buying a lot of lots. So I probably have the issues you're referring to as well. But you said right. one of the one that we got from you got a deal was one of those issues. Uh, it was it was close oh. to that era. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah, so I got that too. So like I said, uh, Tyler watched this show, and he'd have been like, "What? You did? I got you, Captain America. You didn't even show that." So there, I got that. So. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we can get back to <laughs> we can get back to yours. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So well, I only have one more thing, and it was, uh, you know, I, the customer service, you know, top level. It was actually delivered by the place that I got this from this week, and that is <laughs> Marvel Two and One Number Eight. <laughs> I picked this up from Excelsior Comics. They, they didn't, you know, they didn't charge me that much. It was probably, it, definitely, the cost of gas was probably wow. Um, <laughs> definitely worth almost as much as his book is worth. But uh, yeah, um, close, one step closer to finishing off my Marvel two and ones. So awesome! Yeah. How many do you need? Do you have a count on? I think I need like five more, Jeez. and then that annual number two with Thanos. Which is the kicker? Yeah, you know, sometimes it's come down a little bit, but I'll get it here someday. Yeah, yeah that's great. Awesome. Did you already have the thing uh, in that Fantastic Four line? You got uh, Invisible Woman and uh, Mister Fantastic, or did they not have it? Yeah, I, I picked up the thing first, and then I got—I think I got uh, Human Torch at some point. But I was kind of waiting. I was. Playing the long game, hoping for a clearance, and then I missed the clearance, but luckily this guy had him for a decent price, so yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, Mike, you're up. All right. This week, uh, I got a 10-issue 
lot of our fighting forces featuring the losers. And uh, for a while there, I was, I was trying to fill in my gaps on the, the DC horror books from the 70s, but uh, those are a little bit pricey. So I jumped back over to our fighting forces, which I'm also trying to grab uh, and fill in some gaps there. Um, so this is issue 123 up in the left is actually the first appearance within this title. Uh, it's her second appearance overall. And uh, so I had, I had a copy of that already. And then um, I had a copy. I think I showed it last week. I got that, that copy there in the bottom right. So I gave those two to Marcus because um, he begged me for them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the other five. I where, are Mark's, where are Mark's books? Do you maintain them for him or does he have a box in his room or whatever? He has a box in his room. So, so yeah, I know Patrick's always like, oh, dude, that drink is a little close to those books, you know, making him nervous, which it does me as well. But, yeah, his Darth Vader number three is in his room in a long box. Nice. <laughs> like, should I get that out of there? <laughs> Not for him, but from whenever the neighborhood, the neighborhood kids come around. Right, right. Wrestling and trashing his room. Um, but anyway, here's the, here's the, the other, the other five. So I'm, uh, filling in some gaps there. Got these for a really great price. And, you know, we talked on the Exceller about, uh, how I was accurate that the losers movie was these losers. But what did you say about it in particular? It's based on, there was a Vertigo series of, of the losers. And there's only one character from the original world war ii storylines that is in that series which that series a modern series and they're not soldiers they're like cia or something like that um so it is based on a comic book series and that comic book series isn't really doesn't really follow these losers i i you know i've seen the movie though and you said you didn't see the movie right i didn't but what's funny i was at my parents and my dad actually has it on DVD. oh yeah <laughs> um I could swear, though, in the movie, which not obviously they don't need to be comic book accurate, but in the movie they are soldiers, though they're not CIA and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. But they're so not, maybe they're yeah. trying to do kind of a triple crossover unintentionally, but that's how it worked out or whatever. You know, sure. it's not it's not World War Two. It's more modern. Yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. They're, but but they're soldiers. Yeah, not okay. CIA. But um, quite a but you're saying one of them from the World War Two era is in it though even yeah. though obviously it wouldn't be able to be the same character because they're right old. the name is the same gotcha gotcha yeah yeah <laughs> right that's, that's weird why would they do that okay. yeah right why not just do it like these books you're showing now exactly we do that's a whole another discussion what were you saying patrick quite a cast for that movie the losers yeah i know yeah. right i was excited when it came out it it definitely fell a little flat um but it wasn't horrible i didn't hate it but it just uh I thought it was going to be way better than it was. Did you see it, Pat? No. Nope. Yeah, why don't you tell Mike, everybody who's in it, or did you already see Mike? I, I just, I, I didn't pay attention to who was and in it. And who's in it, Pat? Chris Evans, Zoe Saldana, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Edris Elba, Jason Patrick. It's a yeah. big, big cast there. Huh. Yeah. Is Pooch the, um, Pooch the soldier thought, you're uh, talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought, um, What's his name from the hang you know, uh, Rocket Rec Rocket. I thought he was in it too. No? What's Not showing again? up here, but could be. What's his name again? What's Rocket's name? Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Bradley Cooper. There you go. <laughs> I always put you on the spot. <laughs> I'm deflecting my shame. Well, the only reason I was able to pull it is because Patrick was on the spot, not me. If you put <laughs> yeah. me on the spot, Patrick would have been blurting it out. I <laughs> That's the way it works. Anyway, did you have more, Mike? Sorry. No, that was it. Okay. Well, I think you only showed us five. Did you show all ten? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's yeah the first batch there. And. Uh... Okay. Oh no. See, yeah, I don't. Well, I didn't see it when you showed it then, but yeah, uh, yeah you were commenting about how that pup kind of looks like Arlen. Right? Yeah, Pooch looks like your dog. <laughs> yeah. Also, oh, Pooch is an actual dog soldier. Yes. <laughs> He's played by a human being in the movie, I guess. Or maybe it's an animated dog. I don't know. 
<laughs> Who knows? But great they're all covers. great. Obviously. Those are awesome covers. I yeah, yeah. That, we we kind of had a private conversation amongst ourselves about uh, Joe Kubert and, and his war books, and uh, yeah, those uh, those covers uh, they're just iconic. I think within that within that genre. Yeah, I like your Kubert gif <laughs> in that one conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we talked about it last week about how it was uh, how you say his name, Kubert. Which is the way I always said it, or Kubert, and obviously Johnny going to the school, um, he would know more than that, <laughs> better than the rest of us. Yeah, so, yeah. So for anybody out there that's wondering, um, this isn't going to be a part of uh, my. In case you didn't know, thing. Um, it's. it's uh, I thought for sure that's what it was going to be when you started, Mark. Uh, I was like, here comes Kubert. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it's Joe. Kubert, not Kubert. Anyway. So you're destined to be annoyed forever every time we talk about this. Then. No, it's just Kubert sounds. Better. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> By the way, that was a great game. I love that game. Anyway, <laughs> it was a great game. <laughs> great oh game, man! Great if I ever meet Adam, uh, I'm going to take that uh, old Atari game. See if I find it. Would that get me kicked out? Would he kick me out? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That would be that would be hilarious though. Especially if, you know, well, you'd imagine that he's had this conversation before and people have put that together. So it might, it, it could be a great moment if you do that. I think even better I would be asking for a sketch of Kubert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not his dad or brother, but. Right. Uh, the orange character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. Yeah. 